Welcome back guys. Today we're going to discuss Hulse Pharma chainsaws, the Chinese knockoffs of both the, this is a steel 660 knockoff and the Husky 372 knockoff. We're gonna discuss price, specs, and if I think they're worth it, and if you should buy one for you. Stay tuned. First up, we'll have the 372. Um, this machine uh, I bought about three years ago, so I got quite a few hours on it now. Uh, and I will admit it was a piece of junk to start with. Uh, wouldn't stay in tune, wouldn't run very good, uh, wouldn't, would never start, nothing was, uh, was right. The carburetor was just garbage. So I bought a Husqvarna OEM carburetor, swapped it out, and it runs a lot better now. In my experience, the bars and chains are, are garbage on these as well. The bars, I've split a couple sprockets right in half with these, and I think, don't think I've ever done that in any other bar in my whole life. Uh, the chains are okay, but their teeth, uh, they don't stay sharp. If you sharpen them, even with a grinder, which I have, right next to a Husqvarna or an organ or a steel chain, these will always go dull the fastest, hands down, every time. Oh. This was about 350 bucks, I think, give or take. I can't quite remember what I paid for it. And I originally bought it just because I had the smaller saws at the time, like Farm Boss or the Rancher. Or the, and I wanted a little bit more power, but I didn't have a lot of money. So at that price point, I was like, oh man, I can get a 70cc saw, here we go. And, and you get what you pay for, like a lot of things in life. It's not a Husqvarna 372. It's not even close, um, but it is a decent saw now that I put a new carburetor on it. And it does run, and I do use it for cutting stumps. I use it for cutting dirty wood. I use it for stuff that I don't want to use my nice saws on. And I think there is a place for that. Um, also, I use it for loaning out to people when they want to borrow saws. I'd much rather say, hey, grab that big blue one than my nice steel. It just makes me feel less worried. I don't care if anything happens to it. It's not going to be a big deal. If they, you know, if they thrash it, if they run in the dirt, if, you know, it, it's no big deal. It's, it's a beater saw. Just like you have a beater car, this is a beater saw. Um, that's my opinion of it. I think it's a great extra saw, a great loaner saw, a great dirty wood cutting saw, but it's not a professional saw you use every day. No way, no how. Um, now their new saws are a little better. I will give them that. This is a 660 Pro edition. Their newest one that came out, I don't know, a year ago or so. I've probably had this about this time. This one has different plastics. Most of them look with the, the carbon fiber, black and silver. This one has new plastics because unfortunately it fell out of my truck when I was driving down the road and all the plastics broke and a new tank broke. So all the exterior has been replaced, but she still runs okay. And I will say having run the original versus the new pro editions, the pros run better. Uh, this still has the carburetor it came with, which is supposedly a better one. It supposedly has a better piston, better spark plug, better overall performance. And I agree with that. It is. It is better than the original Hulse Pharma's, but by no way, shape, or form is this steel. You, you know, it's the same old thing. You get what you pay for. But is there a place for this saw in your library of chainsaws? I think there can be. This is the 92cc saw. So if you don't use big saws all that much, but you want the capabilities to cut up big stumps if you need to, this might be the way to go. You can go buy a 661 or a 395 for roughly $1,500, or you can get one of these for roughly $500. That's a significant difference for a person who doesn't use that saw a lot. Um, and having ran it, I think I think you could run them every once in a while and it would justify itself. Uh, I don't know about running every day. I don't know if it would hold up. I probably highly doubt that it would if you tried to run it as a professional saw and you use it every day for either firewood or logging. But if you're gonna run every once in a while, or you're gonna use it for milling, like a chainsaw mill, I think this is a great option for that as well. Um, I have a Granger mill. I have yet to try it, but that's my plan with this. Uh, overall, I'm gonna go over a few specs. These are 92 cc. Obviously, 372 is about 70 cc. Um, the pro version of this, just the power head, is roughly 450 to 500 bucks, depending on where you shop and. Uh, sales or not sales. The pro version of the 372 is a 
about 375 to 400 bucks. So not a lot of money if you're looking for a bigger saw that you're gonna use every once in a while. If you're just a homeowner who's got a homeowner saw, but maybe you want a 70cc class saw, but you don't wanna spend that thousand dollars plus that you have to spend nowadays. For $375, you could get the 372 Pro and put it up, and if you use it a couple times a year, it probably would pay for itself. I think there is a place for these. I'm by no means a uh, advocate for Chinese chainsaws. I have every saw there is, every brand there is. I think there's a saw, a purpose for every saw. That's kind of my motto. I have different sizes, different purposes. And I think uh, every woodsman should have a 90cc saw. They're nice to have. You never have to worry about having a, a big enough saw for cutting anything. You can run any size bar you want. Um, like I said, I wouldn't buy the bar and chains. I would just buy the power heads and then go to that, you know, get a good bar and chain. So wh whatever you guys think, let me know down in the comments if, if you have a whole them, if you have luck with them, or if you would ever even try them. Yeah, I'm just trying to think on just a purely economic dollar cents, you know, type thing. For the money and the purpose, it wouldn't take much to pay for itself. And if you're not relying on it to make a living or for very much, I think there is a case for it. So I have these two. Like I said, the original was an absolute junk. I would not buy one of those ever again. But the pro versions, I would if I if something came up, I would I wouldn't hesitate if I need to replace this. I probably would. So thanks for watching. Um, like, subscribe. Like I said in the comments, let me know what you think of these saws. I, you know, they're Chinese saws. They're, they're, you know, they kind of got that stigma with them. I, you know, what do you do? No, unfortunately, America doesn't make saws anymore. And uh, I wish they did. You could go back to buying them. But you could buy from wherever you buy from. And, and uh, that's the world we live in. So, anyway, have a great day and stay sharp, my friends.